A Facebook post about a drunk driver from the Sarasota County Sheriff's Office has been shared 124 times with more than 526 reactions, but something in the post didn't add up. SNN's Crystal Knowles investigates. This post about drinking and driving on the Sarasota County Sheriff's Office Facebook page, not so lucky for the woman who blew four times the legal limit, is referring to 67-year-old Helen Morris, arrested for DUI and DUI property damage after she crashed into the back of the deputy's car. Criminal defense attorney Derek Bird reviewed the official DUI packet. She blew .038. She blew well under the legal limit. According to the probable cause affidavit, here is where Morris crashed into the back of the deputy's car. She was only two miles away from home. Richard Miller says his wife was driving home after having a little over two glasses of wine at the Eagles Club. She thought he was moving slow, but yet he was dead stop. And so the time she got closer and closer, and you hit her, she hits her brakes, it's too late. Morris didn't take a field sobriety test because of a previous back injury and was transported to the hospital. They arrested her outside. They waited for her to get out of the hospital. By the time she did take the breathalyzer at the county jail, it was at least four hours since the accident. After Morris was advised of her Miranda rights, she agreed to speak with deputies and admitted to taking Ambien. She also agreed to a urine test. Those results won't be ready for at least 30 to 60 days. If her urine comes back clean, there's nothing in her urine because it won't test for Ambien, and she's blowing well under the legal limit, albeit four hours later, you know, she would have something certainly to work with as far as a defense of the case. Bird says her charges could potentially go down from a DUI to reckless driving. In Inglewood, Crystal Knowles, SNN, Suncoast News Network. The Sarasota County Sheriff's Office Facebook post has since been updated and our crews reached out twice to the Sheriff's Office to find out the extent of the deputy's injuries and to comment about the post, but we have not heard back.